So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial about how I got the results that I got with the uh, podcasting tool. Now, the initial testing that I did, I relied mostly on the audio from the podcasting tool, which is not so bad, but it does introduce some artifacts and some issues. And what I'm guessing is that it uses AI to rebuild the audio, which is not a problem if you are an English speaker, but because these AI models need to be trained on data and Irish or Gaelic or any other language that might be a minority doesn't have the data to train it on, I fear that um, sometimes it introduces artifacts or issues into the data or into the audio. So what I've decided to do myself is to be slightly more conservative uh, in my use of it. So I use it as a background and then add some of the original audio on top of it. So it does retain some noise, but I find it to be a little bit easier to hear and understand. And it does introduce different different wavelengths into the audio. For example, it'll give you more bass sounds and it'll give you some more treble sounds and it'll give you some more mids. So when I put it all together, I think it sounds quite good. The first thing that I do is I pump up the volume because the initial recordings are very, very uh, sort of low in terms of volume. So I turn them up and I introduce some compression sometimes and I also introduce some changes to the EQ or the equalization because a lot of the noise can be sort of lessened by just reducing some of the uh, the channels in the uh, EQ. So I do that, and then I get to a point where there's still some noise, but I can hear it well. Now, this might not be the best option, and I do know that there's some tools out there that clean audio up much better. But unfortunately, many of them come with the caveat that you have to actually buy or purchase something, or you have to actually pay for something. And um, for the purpose of this, I'm not bothering with that. So the next thing to do once you've made sure that everything's done, you know, you've pre-prepared your audio and stuff like that, is to put it into the podcasting software or the online form at least and let AI do its work. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't always come back sounding great. So you might need to go back later and introduce a little bit more mid-range or a little bit more treble or something like that into your uh, equalization in the uh, original, not the original audio file, the one that you edited originally, uh, and then redo the podcasting thing. And it might give you better results that way. I glance it, no. I glance it, no. 
I did originally use a, a different thing online to get rid of some of the noise, but I found that because a lot of the audio is using uh, MP3 encoding, and because of the way that it does the noise reduction, um, it was leaving uh, that sort of um, compressed audio sound in the mix, and I wasn't really keen on it. So I decided rather than do that, I'll just pre prepare it myself in uh, Audacity, which is what I've done. And um, rather than using a like a noise removing software, I did find one that was really good, but unfortunately, that one was also, uh, it gave you a small trial and then, you know, you get like, what was it, like 20 minutes a month and that's it. <laughs> so um, not really good for people like me who are not necessarily willing to spend money on uh, on things like this. If it were my job or if it was something that I was doing all the time, uh, say on YouTube or something, then maybe, but um, at the moment it's just like personal stuff, so I'm not too fussed about that. Once you've found a, an audio that you think is good, then you can throw it back into Audacity with the originally edited stuff that you did. Um, in my case, I had three channels. And then you just mix them together and try and find a sound that you like. And then from there, you can export it, make a new sound file. Remember to do all of this in WAV format rather than MP3, 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 because every time you use MP3, you're actually adding a little bit of um, uh, sort of noise or you're adding a little bit of uh, degradation to your copy. Whereas if you're using a WAV file, then it's, uh, it's going to be a, a raw file. So yeah, I then open it back up, that new mixed file, into Audacity again, and I can play around with the compression if I think that it needs to add a little bit more compression, or if I want to play around with some of the channels in the uh, EQ, um, or other bits and pieces, then I can do that. 
interestingly, all of the audio that I've recorded for this video yeah, of my voice has also been put through the podcasting software, just as an experiment. And uh, here is my original vo data set, which means that if you've got any other language, it's probably not going to work as well.